the long and short of it is you take a sip of the wine you hold it and then yeah. you've got to sort of like you know do like sort of slight like flicking the <laughs> lips they got to sort of breathe in and out through your nose. Sorry, Ellis, just for those of us. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's it. That's the one. Welcome to the Worst Premiere Ever podcast. Today, I am joined by Gabby. Hello. Alex. Good evening. Kath. <laughs> Hello. And Jake. Bonjour. Oh, and as you can see, fence. or maybe not, depending if you're listening or not, but we're all uh, we're all dressed in our uh, evening finery today because uh, because someone's got a date. You might be able to notice from the, uh, <laughs> the background of Gabby's camera. There are three wine bottles there, all of which are done by the one and only, the absolutely magnificent uh, Mr. Gary Barlow himself. Well, yes. probably not, because they're all from Spain. But still. I heard. Wait, um, what? I heard he crushed the grapes with his his feet himself. I know. Oh, oh, okay. yes. I don't want, a bit of Gary like, Barlow of foot taste in there. Oh, yeah, yes. I want a glass full of foot. Mm, <laughs> foot glass. Lush. Okay. So yes, That's today, what I was foot. promised. Yes. So this ep- this episode will have the uh, world famous Gary Barlow wine tasting event by the uh, aficionados of Worst Premier Ever, uh, w- who um, half of us don't like wine, and the other half like drink stuff like Barefoot. So, um, yeah, well, our taste is... <laughs> Quick, <laughs> Ellis, uh, Ellis, I have a question about your maths here. When you say half of us, there's five. Two and a half of us don't <laughs> like wine. The other two and a half. <laughs> well, I, cause I like sort of like wine, but I kind of don't. So yeah. I thought you liked wine. Have you been lying to me all this time? No, no, no. Like, I, I, I like certain ones, but I, I wouldn't say I'm a wine drinker by You're any stretch of the imagination. You will uh, participate in the Also, wine. our yeah. people did reach out to Gary Barlow to join us, and he told us to f*** off, so yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is not <laughs> true. That was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Thank you, Alice. You're getting into the spirit of it. <laughs> of, the, of the PR agent. That's yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. Unfortunately, he was unavailable to join our podcast today. So uh, yeah. he said, he said, sorry, guys, look, you're in for a treat with my foot wine, okay? Uh, I can't be there to taste it, but yeah, have Here's a Here's some one. foot samples just to keep you going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lush. Now, That's an eight pound a bottle, please. And oh. then we paid him and then we left. <laughs> Did you, I, paid, I paid 750 for these oh. three. It's probably because we had to do off. wine delivery. <laughs> oh, yeah. True, Look, yeah. Gary, 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 Gary. is uh, <laughs> benefiting from our purchases. Yeah. So, yeah. Should Look, we, okay, so should we the, just say why Gary Barlow's wine? Why yeah, not? we should probably well, do explanation as to what this is all about. Yeah, yeah some people who haven't watched a lot of like the live streams where we reference stuff at it, they're not going to have a bloody clue what's going on. Yeah, that and combined with we don't actually know how to do an official wine tasting. <laughs> or and, introduction, for that matter. <laughs> or, yeah, we don't know what we're doing, <laughs> period. That is yeah. it. Uh, Alex, what? <laughs> That's how you taste wine, isn't it? You, you you drink it is that not how you taste wine? You stick your tongue in it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's basically just eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Now's not the time for that, Alex. Actually, it's Gary Barlow's wine ussy. <laughs> All the wine ussy. <laughs> Taste my foot ussies. <laughs> oh. Please stop. Oh, my Ooh, God. Okay, look, I think we need to start with actually figuring out how to do a proper wine tasting. Do we do we want to just explain explain what this is all about? Because we, we've briefly touched on people not knowing what the whole obsession with Gary Barlow is, then just left it. Okay, okay. someone go, yeah, someone explain Gary Barlow, because you know what? I can't tell you why. Uh, I don't know. Why. We've Me just either. got an obsession with him. Like, like, does someone know why? I can't remember how it came about. <laughs> I think it came, it came about from the... the the Flintstones <laughs> thing. You're fucking shitting me. Hold on. This oh, thing, no, this yes, 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 yes. It came, from, it came from you bonking him on the head with the boom stand. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, And yeah. then Alex started singing it to the <laughs> Flintstones theme tune for some reason. <laughs> yeah. In some of the streams. And then from yeah. there, it's Gary, just sort of... Gary Gary Bar- yeah, it's just sort of... For some reason, it was a name that we said before that anyway. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Possibly. Also, ba- basically, it's definitely that- in a number of like streams of videos where we've had to like call out if it's actually us, like in multiplayer. So it's like, Gary, borrow. borrow. Like, it's become basically a sensation on this channel. We don't know why. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who Gary Barlow is, he's basically uh, Britain's uh, sweetheart uh, pop singer or one of them. Um, he's one of the singers in Take That, the band. Mm. Yeah, and if you don't know who that is, uh, you're Go- very Google lucky. it. Um, <laughs> I've that. I've just, I've just loaded up the website. No, don't it's look great. at it. Don't so look at it. Don't look yet. We're not allowed. 
<laughs> so hang on. So so we're basically going to. Uh, this might be the first of many celebrity wine tastings. We should just be uh, just uh, put that out there. Um, and yeah, so we're going to start with uh, with Gary Barlow because I've met him. I've met to. him in person. I did some filming with him once, wow. and I was a sound engineer. And then uh, he got up. Uh, from his chair after the interview and I was undoing my microphone. Bent over. <laughs> <laughs> I was undoing my microphone and then bumped him on the head with it and he said, oh, and then I was like, oh, sorry. And then he, yeah, he was all right with it and then that was the end of that story. Wow. And that's, that's my and interaction that is with how him. it all came And here about. we are, five years later, me now drinking his wines on the internet. His foot wine. Uh, um, with you guys. <laughs> I am just really quickly going to post this picture in the podcast chat mm. because I looked up a picture of Gary Barlow. For some reason, it wouldn't let me post the link, um, but here's just a screenshot of it. No, that, that's when <laughs> he was younger. Yeah, so that's okay. him when he was younger and it, the yeah. face he has <laughs> looks like someone, you know when you have really bad diarrhea cramps, oh, but you're trying yeah, not wow. to show the people you're talking to that you have them? <laughs> he's just trying just, to let out that fart that he thinks might be a shark. Oh, it's it's kind of like... Say, <laughs> that that looks like you know in like a nineties American film set in a high school, the football jock bully. Yeah, he's got that yeah. kind of face. That's the yeah, one. it's like the curtain haircut, isn't it? Yeah, that curtain. was some ages ago. That photo, right? Oh, it's yeah, an older that's, one. That's that was yesterday, almost, Jake. That's almost undoubtedly in the early late eighties. Because look at the look at the mm. shirt. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. All over. <laughs> Which you know is coming back. It's true. Yeah. Um, so we so we're gonna basically uh, carry on our obsession with Gary Barlow, <laughs> um, and you know we don't we don't dislike him at all by any yeah. means. I think it's quite, quite the there. opposite. I am yeah. completely ambivalent. We're I, in, I, we're I, I in fact so, <laughs> It's just funny. So, um, <laughs> wait, wait, doesn't so uh, ambivalent mean that you've got both love and hate? Like you've got conflicting emotions? No, I never really dislike. You just <laughs> don't care. No, ambivalent I, is that you feel two emotions really strongly. Oh, is it? Ambi <laughs> so <laughs> I always thought it was. I thought I always thought ambivalent was in between. No, no, so that's indifferent. So Elvis has got a love hate relationship okay. very deeply. With very Gary. deep love. He hates. Very him. deep yeah, hate he hates, so he hates that he loves him. <laughs> 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 exactly. Um, so um, you could be apathetic. Apathetic. That's, that's there the we okay. go. That's there the we go. I'm yeah. a pathetic person. <laughs> uh, we know. We know. We <laughs> know. Um, so yeah, so we're going to taste his wine just because for the hell of it. What basically. bottle are we going to start with? Um, I well, I think I think nothing. we should. Should we come up with a scoring system that we can then compare? How many Garys out of yes. bar? Like? We need think... before we start anything. Go on the website, open the bottles, even look at the bottles. We need to have a scoring system in place yes. for right. uh, for future celebrity alcohol that we might taste. Then we can have a comparison, like oh, you know, Graham Norton's was wasn't as good as Gary Barlow's. Do you know what well, I mean? <laughs> the common scoring list that most people use online at the moment is they've got like S tier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the S tier ones I that S people are using, yeah, yeah. and I, so I, I just I want to point. Can we just change the F tier, which is the lowest, to the barefoot tier? <laughs> the bear. <laughs> oh, well, because it, it's like. Don't you mean Echo Falls? Oh, That's echo, definitely they're all worse the fucking barefoot. same. Barefoot Echo Falls. Oh, uh, can we just. How oh, can we have our Gallo. own. Gallo. Can we just have oh, our own God, ranking system. Gallo. Just, so, like, <laughs> S tier, it would be S tier, but it'd be something that we all find amazing and awesome, like um, Gary Barlow's feet. Okay. So that would be, be the top. <laughs> we will need to figure that out in a minute, but um, I think just to start off, let's have a look into how to do the wine tasting to begin with. Yes. Right. I believe our little uh, production gremlin has managed to find a wine tasting. Well, how yes. to? Yes. Oh, 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 yes. Okay. So my hopes is that it's on WikiHow. It is. It is on WikiHow. Perfect. So we're going to carry Excellent. on on last week's uh, last week's theme of using WikiHow articles to do anything, Excellent. and we're just going to open up the WikiHow article on how to taste wine. Uh, I think we should just live our life by this by WikiHow now. I think we should. Anything that we're not too sure on, um, we just just. Uh, we just wikiHow it. You okay. Know? How to get rich, wikiHow. Who wants to read <laughs> method number one? I don't mind doing it. Should we read this out? We can read this out first and refer back to it as we're tasting, right? Okay. So I want to read two. Method <laughs> method number one. Oh, should, I, should I do it? Or do you, yeah, you, no, I want to read two. You go. Okay. Fill a quarter of the glass with wine and hold the glass by the stem. Holding the glass by the bulb will heat up the wine and distort the flavor. The reason for the stem is to prevent adding excess heat, so hold the glass lightly by the thin stem. Okay, I literally actually didn't know that. <laughs> Why didn't needs you know to that? nope. Oh. Wine needs to breathe or rest in exposed <laughs> air after it opens. 
<laughs> to get Lucky the best flav flavor. So take your time exam examining the wine before starting to drink. Um, I'm just going to point out this is probably meant for like bottles which are mm -hmm. more than 30 to 40 Aged. pounds to make it yes. make a real difference. Look, yeah. We're trying our best with our Barlow wine, okay? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm just saying, should we? would it be worth just like skipping this bit? No, come on, come on. We're talking oh, about okay, well, we everyone got dressed up. We're going to do it right. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone open their bottles of wine. It's then. already we, open. Which oh, one? We've already done it, babe, because you told us to pre pour But which <laughs> one are we doing first? Well, you got to open up all of them. Well, you need to start with the lighter and okay. then work your way to the darker, white. stronger flavors. No, it's, yeah, start, start with white, then rosé, then... Uh, then red. Yeah, ours is already... Unfortunately, ours is already decanted into glasses because we're stuck behind You needed to sort it out, understand. Yeah, yeah. so my white wine Not even proper wine glasses. Which means it's going to be minging. Okay, well, um... <laughs> oh, no. Also didn't help that our wine delivery didn't turn up, so I had to go and rush to f***ing Asda. That was like, a bit of a shit show. before the start. And go it was, yes. Yeah, we, we had a bad time with that one. Yeah. Um, um, I, I'm a bit limited with what I can do because we do not have enough wine glasses, so I am limited to my B cups. I've got uh, two wine glasses. Did, could you not spare one for Gabby? I've got one. Well, we've only got three in the house because we don't really drink wine. And then we've got a uh, a very special Downton Abbey whiskey glass. Mm. Right. Right. Um, so we're cracking open the white wine then. Yes, just I think so. Just let it breathe. Yeah. Just you Should can just we... open the you can just open the uh, open the bottles and then just leave it because I think that's what you're supposed to do. So the only one the only one that needs to breathe is the red, um, white and rosé. Generally, you just pour straight from the glass. Okay, well, we'll leave it to breathe for like five minutes before we um <laughs> before we pour it. It's Can I just ask what difference. that means, leaving it to breathe? Because like, just open the bottle and don't what, pour of it. The basically. Red. Open the red, yeah. Red, yes. Do you say bread? Red. <laughs> oh, I should open the red now. No, Alex. Yeah, open the red. Okay, I'll do that now. Did you open the white? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was getting confused because <laughs> Kat said we'll just open it now, and I was like, okay. <laughs> no, she said she should open the red. <laughs> Look, they're all going to be open by the end of this, so. Okay, oh, yeah, it's true. I'm smelling can, all before these. we continue, just quickly, can you just scroll down in the wiki how to tasting the wine part four? Uh, Wait, can we? Let's no. Let's on, read number two first. You said no, no, no. There's, there's so much. This isn't even the tasting part. This is all of this far. There's six things about smelling it. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, okay, honest. well, go on then, Alex. You wanted to do number two and yeah, the I six did, parts. Then about I read it. how many there were, and I can't be bothered now. <laughs> well, there's only five of us, but we'll get through it. Go on then, Alex. Do number two. So, oh, this is the second okay. step into tasting yeah. wine. Take a small sniff of the wine right after opening. Oh, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my a, intrusive thought. <laughs> this is a good time to catch a preliminary sniff of the wine so you can compare its fragrance after swirling. Oh. This will also allow you to check for any off odours that might indicate spoiled, corked wine, or some other biological or chemical imperfection which will smell stale or rotten. <laughs> Smells to note include a musty, wet, attic-like smell. <laughs> oh, God! It means the wine was improperly, improperly Improper bottled. Improperly? <laughs> improperly bottled and cannot be salvaged. Right. Okay. The smell of burnt matches is a product of bottling but it should fade after exposure to air. Okay. Right. <laughs> Nail polish or vinegar-esque smells are indicative of a wine that is too acidic. Gallo. Yeah. Br Britannum, <laughs> what, Brita Britannomyces, Br or Brett, causes, a, right, yeast, Brett. <laughs> causes <laughs> a yeasty smell that is natural in red wines. Too much okay. of this yeast can, smell can, however, ruin the other flavors of the wine and point to a mistake in the winemaking process. Interesting. Ah. Okay, so That's if it so tastes like attic, weird. you're in for a bad time. I've never heard of someone just describing something tasting like attic before. Like, what I the fuck does an attic taste like? I, feel like I, can, I know what it is. Yeah, I, I can, can imagine. imagine. Like musty. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you don't have to taste it to know. No. Okay. E Elon Musky. <laughs> Elon Musky. I, I did hear something completely bit of a tangent here, but um, I heard something about um, our brains have tongue memory. And okay. it's, it's a really yeah, weird thing. Because you know when you're a kid and there's this phase where you're putting absolutely everything in your mouth? <laughs> and so... <laughs> Sorry. Alex! Alex! <laughs> what the Come fuck, on, dude? man! For fuck... You're dressed in a suit. Act like it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and if you imagine what licking something would be like, you have, like, a complete idea. You can imagine what that would feel like. 
because of how many times you've put random things in your mouth. So there you go. Alex is trying so You're hard. You're trying so to hard, mate. Himself laughing. So if you really can imagine what it would so be like hard. to put a piece in your mouth, is that what you want me to say? <laughs> yeah, Alex? pretty much. Okay, yeah, pretty right. much, yeah. I mean, Kath, it do you want to read penis. out number three? Yeah, go on then. Um, so look at the edges of the wine and note the colours. Tilting the glass can make it easier to see the way the colour changes from the centre to the edges. Hold the glass in front of a white background. Who the fuck has time for this? I don't know. <laughs> Such as a napkin, tablecloth, or a sheet of paper. Yeah, because I carry a sheet of paper with me to be able to test the colour of the wine. Um, to make out the wine's true colour. For the wine professional, this is the first clue to how old the wine may be and how well it is holding up. Look for the colour and clarity of the wine. Intensity, depth and saturation of colour are not necessarily consistent with quality. Uh, the wine should not be murky or cloudy in colour. Uh, white wines are na- get naturally darker with age but should not be brown (laughs) Brown. (laughs) i'm a brown wine please (laughs) um red wines tend to lose their color with time turning brownish and have a small amount of harmless dark red sediment at the bottom or the bottle or okay they are definitely talking about expensive wines then all of these bottles cost eight pounds yeah okay yeah like the cheap will not have sediment the cheapest in the uk you can probably get in a supermarket without it being bleach is like Probably about four five. Quid, I reckon. Yeah, four, four to four pound fifty is the cheapest we found, which is that Romanian white that we really like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really like the cheap wine? Well, cheap yeah, we just we just took a punt on it. Mm. Should, should we, we skip over to, the sediment yeah, section should we then? Just skip to tasting the wine. I think we should. Yes, yes. I don't right, think okay. any of this is going to make a blind bit of difference. Yeah, I was going to say this is going to be really fucking boring for okay, so, us to yeah. <laughs> This is how you sniff the wine. This, the thing is, though, this Wiki, WikiHow article is actually quite useful it's on this one. It's actually pretty good, yeah. It's not yeah. God comedy. damn it, WikiHow, where's the shit I know. one? It's yeah. like, oh, what am I doing? No, no, to... I clicked something and now it wants me to donate to WikiHow. <laughs> so, no! no. So basically, long, the long and short of it is... You take a sip of the wine, you hold it, and then yeah. you've got to sort of like, you know, do like sort of slight like flicking the lips. And you got to sort of breathe <laughs> in and out through your nose. Sorry, Ellis, just for those of us. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's it. That's the one. Insert, oh, insert. Jesus. Oh, yeah. For all the people who are listening, I, you got to sort of purse He's- your lips. And like, so, so you just got enough room to get your tongue through. And he's gotta, basically performing cunnilingus on the air. Yeah, and then you breathe. <laughs> so you breathe in, and then you breathe out through your nose. So you're aerating your mouth whilst holding the wine in there. So I don't suggest most of us do this because it will end up with <laughs> wine no, no, look, we've got a, we've all we over follow, our tables. We have to follow the article. Okay, look, oh. we're doing this so properly. Cass. Licking the <laughs> lips. Can you elaborate on that a bit further? So, <laughs> oh no! But do you have to do the tongue thing? No, of course. Well, that's not. how you have to joke. lick. <laughs> okay, well, no, we- <laughs> Gabby, how do you lick if you don't use don't your tongue? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> how? The phantom lick. No, I just meant oh, like God. how it, that's such a specific shape that you're doing there. So I thought it might have to do Alex. What the fuck? Are you- <laughs> Is that how you do it? <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> Alex has the bloody you hacker have, like, on it. <laughs> an ungodly sized tongue. Yeah, what? Oh my god! How long your tongue is, dude? Tongue, it's like three, four inches long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good for pleasing people. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> can you lick? Can you lick your nose? Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh my god! Not only you, you can probably pick your own nose, can you? Anyway, this is this isn't good for, this <laughs> right. isn't good for the audio. Wine listeners. tasting yeah. back on right, track. Okay, yeah. Please. So once you've once you've aerated it the first, and then you take another sip, but you slurp it this time. <laughs> okay, so first one you go. Second no, one you first go. First one. First one oh. is sip. Okay. Yeah. No weird noise. Let it hold. Yeah. Then you do the 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 weird mouth and aerate. Yeah, and then you meant to spit it out, but obviously we're just going to swallow it because we're not we're not heathens. And then you take another step with, and you go <laughs> to get air coming with it. I would like to right. I think this Should is going to be practice? easier if someone does a demonstration, Ellis. Oh, yes, hell. yes. Yeah. Right, okay. 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 All right, Start so, us off. First of all, you no, wait, not red. Not red. The red. Oh, it's red. Sorry. <laughs> what? We, why? Why? Because the red. paint is red. Because we're doing the white first. Oh, oh, the white first. Okay. Does not smell great. I'm not going to lie. It's, you know that vinegary smell they were talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. God, yeah. Really you need, you need to put your f- fingers down the bottom of the glass so we can see what you're doing. No? Okay. That means the wine is acidic. <laughs> oh, God, that is not a good face. He does not look impressed. <laughs> that is not a good face. Mm-hmm. Okay, now you... Okay, so you're meant to sip it, look disgusted. Yeah, go on, swirl it round. 
He looks like he's about he to pass like out because the back of air. Like a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how you're supposed to do it? Yeah, it's not nice. I, I can I can taste this, the change of the flavour when putting air through it, and it's not good. Oh god. Oh, okay. No. God. It's good. It, it's like. <laughs> It's like having spirits. It's taking all the moisture out of my mouth. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like methylated spirits. That's so good. Evaporates. Um, shall I oh, come in? Should, should, we, should I come in and get some wines poured, Gabby? Yeah, how about you do that? And while you're okay. at it, how about you show the audience who are currently watching this <laughs> how you have, uh, I guess, planned your attire? So and, I got... I, and I guarantee it's the same for Alex and Ellis as well. Uh, I'm guessing it's business at the top. Uh, party party down, down below. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Come on, oh, I'm not, I'm not wearing anything. Stand down up below. and show show your bottom half. Oh, okay. Well, you'll uh, you got, okay. Uh, you'll see mine in Gabby's camera, but yeah, I'll, I'll come in and get some wine. Mine's matching. Yeah, he's coordinated. His, I'll, I'll, I'll go uh, first, and whilst Jake's walking. Oh yeah! Oh. Look okay, at that. To be fair, you could probably get away with that. They, they weirdly kind of matches mm -hmm. in a yeah. way that makes you think of those like. Good day, old boy. Pip, yeah. Pip. How's yeah. it going? Should yeah. we go hunting? Oh, look at that. Who's that man? Who's that? Let's have a look at the, tra yeah. look at the trousers. He's yeah. getting moved to the side. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, board shorts. Nice. That's that's a classy look there. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Not the ukulele. <laughs> oh, no. For those oh, of no, you listening, uh, Jog hair. just oh, tried no. to... Uh, pop his booty and managed to pop too much booty and uh, took out the ukulele. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I've got my wine. Uh, all three ones that I have here. Uh, <laughs> cool. Right, who's, who's, who's going to start next then? The because presentation. I, I am <laughs> I'm well, currently okay. the only one who's swimming in the mediocrity that is that white wine. So who's next? Let's all have a sip of the white wine. Okay, so and then to... react together because I feel like Ellis, you had to give us an example of what to do. Yeah, shall we? Um, shall we smell first? Yeah, it's sniff, yeah. sip, aerate, swallow. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, what, what is sniff? aerate? Mean? Okay, don't sip. tell us. Just tell us in order. Okay, yeah, so in order. Doing, Everyone, take a sniff. Have okay. a smell. Mmm, vinegar. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> petrol. Yeah, Ooh, it's got it that smells like thing. acetone. Yeah, right. So next. <laughs> Take a sip and hold it on your tongue and hold it in the bottom of your mouth. Take a decent sized amount. You've got to let, let, let it hold and let it linger. Oh. <laughs> you dickhead! <laughs> I drank... I drank some by accident. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. now aerate. So... Uh, out through your... Uh, in through the mouth, out through your nose. You should probably... You'll probably have to feel the burn the change. Sorry, how the fuck worse. are you supposed to breathe with liquid in your mouth? Yeah, and then now swallow. That's like Drea all just yeah, go in the swallow. swimming pool and breathe, shall I? <laughs> no. It actually doesn't taste awful. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I wouldn't drink it, but it doesn't actually taste as bad as I You know, I thought it's... It I... I... Think. I... I... <laughs> One sip of wine and she's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Gab is drunk. <laughs> No, I I think that um, it's not as bad as what I was expecting. Yeah, <laughs> the smell is go. worse than the taste. Is it? Put, I think it's exactly the fucking same. Put no. that on the bottle. Not as bad as I was yeah. expecting. No, Gabby, no, 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 no. Honestly, I, like that. I, if if that was colder, if that was a, a really chilled wine, as in like like a bit of a four twenty. So you wine, know when yeah. something's so cold that you can't taste it. <laughs> what the fuck's the point? <laughs> right, it's, it's, it's something, sallow to you. Something so cold you can't taste how shit it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I, I'd actually, I it's think barefoot. I'd actually rather Gallo. Yeah, it's, it's barefoot's here. Oh, okay. oh no, barefoot's better oh, than Gallo. I don't, I don't think we've got, I don't think we've got like a. We haven't got anything to reference it towards. That's the problem. So this is like this is numero uno. We right. might have to post change this after yeah, we yeah, have some yeah, more. But this, this is, it's pretty grim, not a lie. So if anything else is also barefoot but worse than this, then yeah. we'll have to bump this up one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I agree. Yeah. Has, okay, has sure. anyone actually read the back of it? What it's, his quote on the back of the bottle? No, go uh, on then. Go on then. I'm going in for a second. My definition of a great evening includes friends, laughter and sharing good wine. I've been fortunate to travel the world, Tossa, experiencing, <laughs> <laughs> experiencing different cultures and developing a passion for fine varieties of wine along the way. Sustainability is important to me, so I'm delighted that my debut wines are 100% organic. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, that part's yeah, good, but the fine. fact he's just kind of bragging about going all over the world. I think, are you just <laughs> salty because you've got less salty that you haven't? <laughs> 
That's so yes. true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. I'm you know what? Anymore. I actually, I don't mind it. I think it's quite nice. Okay. All right. Maybe we should take an out. Oh, wait, no, that second swig's kind of sealed it for me. I'm not a fan. I think for, for the context of what it is, for an eight pound bottle of wine, it's not bad. I have it is wine. experienced four wow. pound bottles of wine that are better though. Yes, I have mm, had okay. four pound bo- bottles of wine. I feel like the, multiple times the extra four pound is because it's Gary Barlow. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. That's so okay. we basically bought a four pound bottle of wine and then given four pounds to Gary Barlow. I, I, <laughs> honestly, this is like, it's Gallo tier wine with Gary Barlow's name stuck on it. Yeah. Uh, Ga- Gallo Barlow. <laughs> Gall- yeah. I've never had Gallo. <laughs> Don't. No. You won't like it. So is uh, Rosé next? Yeah, Rosé next. So okay. same thing again. Wait, wait, wait. Which glass should, does it sh- go in? Should we read the bottle first? Has this one got any good, good that was, uh, that was one that quotes? I just, I just read the Rosé. Oh, did you read the rosé out? No, I read the white. Oh, okay, so what what does the what does the what does the rosé say? The rosé. This one smells way better, by the way. Like it way says better. exactly mm. the same thing. Oh, really? Um, oh, come on, Gary! You couldn't even be able what, to put what, different what, quotes on what the bottles. What glass can I share? With <laughs> There's the... only three. I've only got two glasses. glasses. <clears throat> well, I, I no. have to. I've only got two. You can do it a little bit. So if you pour like you know a what? Tiny I'm just gonna bit. pour it. I'm gonna. Do it in the white one and then have the red separate. Or just yeah, drink that I, that's what I would do. <laughs> I'll just drink it. Up. But Ellis, how are you supposed to swirl it around like you said Ellis a minute no. ago? <laughs> yeah. Thing is, I okay. can't actually get too drunk. Why not? I need to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go to the gym. Just like, yeah. Yeah. Look, it's fine. You're allowed to be drunk in the gym as long as it's, only a, as long as it's a wine tasting that's got you wasted rather than like just... <laughs> Yeah. If you get dress like that, Alex, you're probably going to have a better time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> With his Adidas tracksuit on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, everyone, okay, everyone, everyone, to, everyone take your sniff. Do we want to rate the, the white wine first, or should we carry on with these ones, do you think? Let's, let's try all of them first. We can rate the entire... Okay, so sniffing? Okay, smells not bad. It's got a fuller bodied smell compared to the white wine. Oh, it I smell, don't. Does, it straight up doesn't smell of vinegar, which is. It a, smells a, less vinegar. Yeah, yeah, which is a, already a bonus. It doesn't smell of vinegar. It tastes like wine, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Cool. Right. Wine. You kind of look like a wine taster, Jake. Or one of those <laughs> mad wine tasters that you see. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my wine tasting empire. All right. Are you ready? All right. Sipping. Aerating it makes it worse. Aerating it does make it worse. Oh my god. That. Uh, no, that tastes like. Oh, ass. Have oh my oh. god, that aftertaste is like fish. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'd have that over the white any day. I think you, know you guys I are don't a... mind it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just like wine, Gabby? Well, no, okay, just for context. Do you just like alcohol, Gabby? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me let me just put into context. Are you just a pisshead, Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> no. The very first episode we talked about how my first experience of alcohol was purple guana. Oh, so yeah. anything yeah. I have is probably going to be oh. better than what that was. Oh. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Fair point. Sure. Yeah. You know, so seconds. I probably mm. can't be trusted for this. Yeah, I would so, not drink. I, I, I wouldn't drink that. But you it's guys, better than the white. That's grim. No, the white. You guys as well um, are drinking the warm version because you had to run down to the supermarket. Yeah, like, that's true. An hour ago to get it. Yeah, so it's not chilled. Mine's chilled. I don't know yeah, and I sh- wasn't talking to you. Yeah, no, but what, so about, the, what about the fish aftertaste? What's but the, um, the red? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, that's not explained. <laughs> uh, do you have fish in your fridge? Actually, no, to be fair, my taste buds <laughs> have always been weird. I can taste... <laughs> right. Yeah, no, it, it is a thing. I can I taste things differently to everyone else. Does coriander do, taste like soap to you? I yes. don't know. I don't know. No, coriander tastes like oh, okay. that's, that's right. <laughs> it's the only thing I've ever I had. I think it. Alex and I have a bit of a similarity in some ways that they talked about it a while ago. We probably need to look it up. But there's such a thing as a super taster. So mm. a lot of the things that you taste are really overwhelming and can just be like too much, which is why we opt for the beige foods. Mm. But like. Yeah, that's a good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is, Alex, is that I've grown out of it a bit. So. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> but when I was younger, yeah. I, uh... I'm okay with most things i can have things in like a smoothie right things that i can't eat yeah not like textures that are your problem isn't it right textures normally yeah Yeah. but with with Mm. water with liquids like this it's well it's not really texture it's fucking liquid yeah (laughs) Yeah. i can get the the same though (laughs) okay so i'm i'm getting uh hints of (laughs) well i don't know i'm not like guys i'm not getting what you guys are describing i think this is a temperature thing i think you need to have these ones chilled well, no, no, I, I, I don't get the fish. I, I'm not sure what the fish no, is going to I do not know where the fish has come from. All I can taste is 
cheap wine and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you Olive. tasting, Jake? Um, just like, hang on, let me try it. Try it again. Let me just. Oh. <laughs> Mm, come. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no! Nice! I'm tasting like. Uh, I don't know. Like I've got, I don't know about wines. It just tastes like rose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's my problem. I'm like, it's like just a middle road wine. I'm, I'm the same. But I, I'm not like. Because it's so middle with- road, I don't feel like it's bottom tier it's, it's not just it's not f tier oh i don't uh, know so with, with, know. with with a lot of better wines they actually yeah. have like notes within them that you can taste so for example um oh. for some really nice white wines you might get like um citrus or stuff citrus or mm. elderflower or like melon or grape mm-hmm. like like oh like, i see this, 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 this has notes i'm getting notes of disappointment yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you I'm should get- love it then mate <laughs> i'm not getting any notes other than what a, a generic rosé would taste yeah, like that, that, I that's think. why that's why it's i think it's cheap wine that's just been up costed well it is definitely cheap wine because it was eight pounds <laughs> eight no no no, no. i meant even cheaper wine yeah right okay so. Maybe you know what we should do. Every like every ten wine drinkings we should get, we should spend. We should get like a hundred bottle, a hundred pound bottle. Like, yeah. so and then oh, just, we need to know what it's like on the nice <laughs> yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. And then that'll be like supposedly the S tier. Well, we do have a Chateau Neuf de Pas that we still haven't opened yet. Oh, yeah. is that for the end of the world? Is it? <laughs> no, that was meant to be for no. Christmas. Oh, okay. Are we specifically sticking with wine? Or no, are we gonna not necessarily. Other no. alcohol. I am we not touching other spirits. Alcohol. I'm just going to tell you that right now because they're very sick. Okay. They're not sick. what a sip, and it's gonna be the designated driver. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it's they, fine. They, they, they all make, the, the smell will make you vomit. Well, oh, okay. Well, nose. we don't have to like chug yeah. them back, but like I understand. <laughs> no, I, I cannot drink straight spirits. Yeah, it's just, that's I cool. Think we can't do. Yeah, that's like, fine. Kath can have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. What about Kath? Like, yeah. <laughs> what about with, like Coke but and put stuff? Put it this way: like my go-to Coca-Cola. cocktail <laughs> and stuff like that is like an old-fashioned. <laughs> which is sorry, Kath. Hold on, I'm genuinely interested, but Jake. Did you I'd really say- need to, to clarify that? <laughs> yes, wasn't I think you drugs? might. Have <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh my fucking god! Right? What if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, goes sorry. well with spirits? A line, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kath, go sorry, back. Kath. What were you saying? Deep so, like, I really enjoy spirits. So, like, my go-to like cocktail and stuff like that would be something like an old-fashioned. So, I really like whiskeys and bourbons. Yeah, like Ellis was there with his G and T. And smelling my old fashioned, and he could just smell it and was like, nope. <laughs> what is your go to drink, everyone? What? Well, mine? Just, yeah. If you went to a bar and you had to get some sort of, get a drink, not just a beer or a cider or like a cocktail. Or delicious water. Yeah. Like if you could have uh, anything. I'd, I'd, I'd have. Go to. If, if, if it was a bar, I'd have whatever, like, sort of. Tap water. World lager there is. <laughs> so I'd find something that was like French, Czech, Spanish, right. Japanese, German, etc. Or Whoa, if I'm at a restaurant, it's red wine. Oh, oh, really? Okay, right. Mm, okay. What? No matter what restaurant it is. In in in, 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 like uh, just a decent tap lager. water <laughs> or a GNT session um, ale or a GNT right. or a GNT yeah okay. some of like Doom Bar's pretty good okay for like isn't gin drinking. a spirit yes yeah yes but gin it's, the tonic water completely changes it removes any of the um, oh like the smell and the yeah it removes all the smell okay right okay stuff. I was gonna say oh, fair enough can't, I can't do gin and tonic because I cannot stand tonic I understand There's it does taste like gin and like lemonade yogurt, doesn't it? fine <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay Gabby if I'm feeling like a big bad bougie bitch, I love an amaretto sour. Oh yes, that is like oh good choice. Hits good. The cherry, it's kind of like sour gummies, but like as a drink. I'm I'm a big fan. So if that is on the menu, which it rarely is, yeah, you usually have to ask for it. An amaretto sour is up there. Um, otherwise, if I'm at home on a summer or whatever, it's a long tequila for me. So like oh, yeah. a shot of tequila 
and then uh, like a really nice lemonade, like Fever Tree or something like that, with like a bit of lime in it, and it like really ice. cold ice. Yeah, and it mm-hmm. is like oh, good. I love those drinks that kind of activate my brain. You know the mm. ones that are like really fizzy, like sour flavor, and it makes me go ding. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> that you. kind of stuff. Yeah, which I'm now learning is probably the ADHD. <laughs> but, nice, nice. Yeah, without but it context. gives that good brain scratch. It does. It makes me feel like, oh, I'm ready to go. Um, So, yeah, that's probably. And then if I'm out and about, like, at the pub, it's probably some kind of cider. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Caff? Usually some form of sour, so something like a whiskey sour or an amaretto sour, like Gabby. Mm. Um, I do like things like old fashions and stuff like that. So things that are quite heavily whiskey or bourbon based. Um, And a red wine. Do you like okay. a smoky whiskey, Kath? Fucking love a smoky whiskey. <laughs> smoky boy, <laughs> there you go. Scotch um, or yeah, I don't mind a scotch. Um, just yeah, like I, I did. Um... She's not that particular. If it's whiskey, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> not necessarily. I can be particular. So I went to a really cool restaurant in Shoreditch in <laughs> London. I think it was called uh, Bull in a China Shop, but they did a whiskey flight. So and they were all Japanese whiskies. So it went ah. from like the smokiest, to, like all the way to sort of like the. It went like smoky, sweet, and then really dry. Yeah. Um. A tier. Good bit, time. Eh? Yes. Nice. Would recommend. Okay. Uh, Jake, what do you like in your sippy cup? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably just like. Uh, Milk. Oh. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> Milk. No, I like. I like. Um, yeah, milk? ciders are pretty good. Mm. Uh. It has to be from Somerset, though. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry to anyone other outside of Somerset that makes cider. Like, ju- just no. West Country cider is, is just the yeah, best. Yeah, West Country cider like, is the best. Because we went out to New Zealand. Uh, like, oh, to be fair, that was fucking rough. It was. Yeah, well, it was rough, but the ciders out there tasted either like vinegar or like they were so sweet you could feel your like teeth dissolve like, as yeah. you're Syrup. drinking it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, it's the same with uh, like Record League and any of, any of the Scandinavian yeah. ciders. Like that, they're, they're like. They're way although too it's, sweet. It's they're like to, pop. It's meant to be sweet because it's kind of um, like flavored, obviously, which is totally <laughs> fine. Totally get that. But it's not to my taste. So, like, yeah, it's just a nice, me- like a medium dry scrumpy, probably from uh, the West Country. Failing that, uh, a Thatcher's Haze, I guess, okay, would be like yeah. the mm-hmm. basic mm. as, as I'd go, probably. Yeah. What about, like, if you're getting a cocktail? Oh, uh, probably an old fashioned, but I don't like cocktails so much just because, like, you spend like £12 on them. To have like three mm. sips and then it's done. So I'm yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, give me a fun. pint, man, because then I, like I can sip on it. Yeah, yeah. then I can sip oh, on it and not have to worry about yeah. it. Special shout out to mojitos, not the the sugary kind, <laughs> but like the the kind of um yeah, not a sickly sweet. Mojitos. Oh, the really like sort of sour ones. Yeah, with like the lemon juice. The in really them, refreshing that. ones. What are yours? Yeah. What are yours there, Alex? Uh, WKD. (laughs) (laughs) The more E numbers, the better. God's dead. You drank a fair bit of lager when you were down with us, I think. Uh, No, I don't drink lager at all. I thought you did. I don't drink lager and I don't drink beer. I don't like them. Cider is what I drink. Oh, uh, yeah. any cider really. Strongbow. I'm, I'm, I'm not except strongbow. I've, I've had piss in a can before and I mistook it for strongbow. Yeah, I'm because it was <laughs> a Do you want to tell can. that story here? Like, do you want to elaborate? Yeah, what want... the hell, dude? No, no, no. No, it was at, it was at, it was at, house, it was at house party. Uh, someone gave me a can of strongbow. You know, I was like, oh, okay, cheers. And I started to drink from it. I had a few swigs and I was just like, something's off about this. And it turned out they'd pissed in the can. Oh no! Nice. That's fucking. But that's crazy. I couldn't tell have... the difference between that yeah. and strongbow. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the difference between a bit of piss yeah. in a can and strongbow. Exactly. <laughs> that um, genuinely yeah. makes me feel sick. It, like, uh, was that one of the first strongbow? house parties that you'd gone to? Yes, it was, and I was wankered. Okay. Fucking <laughs> hell! No, so obviously I didn't really. Uh, then I was like, oh, wow, piss, carried on drinking. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Electable. Um, I'm a fan it, of recycling. Yeah, exactly. And if it comes to like spirits and cocktails, it oh. will be a Di Serrano and Coke or a um, Espresso Martini. Oh, I do love oh. Espresso Martini. Oh, an Espresso oh, Martini. martini. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. there you go. But I don't know. It's that feeling of like, you know when you're at a party and you're trying to make sure that you have enough alcohol to do you, but at the same time you're like, mm-hmm. I don't want to look like an alcoholic, so you're like mm-hmm. 
casually double parked, but trying not to look that bad. No, it's like I care about looking like an alcoholic. I just, uh, everything I go to, I always look like an alcoholic. (laughs) <laughs> that's because you turn up pissed that's because I am an alcoholic no. that's because she has no restraint at all hence why she had to have £7,000 worth of ankle surgery oh yeah oh yeah did you want to talk about that or no uh, yeah well because we're talking about alcohol and idiot choices um <laughs> so my friends got married um on the coast near where we live and it was a beautiful day last may and we were like in a field it was like a very sort of viking pagan wedding type thing um awesome. and everyone was people who were staying there at the venue um they had yurts which are like fancy glamping tents mm-hmm. the big boys that you see on instagram and everyone's just mm-hmm. like oh yeah my God, so every, everyone's all in these yurts and my friend two of my friends were staying in one particular yurt and um me being me i'd spent the majority of the wedding running around with two bottles of wine one in each hand um because wait, the okay. wine was free so wait you okay <laughs> you two bottles glass, of wine surely. <laughs> okay i barely drink nowadays so if i had two bottles of wine i would be in a ditch <laughs> well this is the funny thing so i had these two bottles of wine and then it ran out one of them ran out and one, my friend came over to me with another bottle. So I drank that. Then there were gin-based cocktails coming around, just being handed to me left, right, and center. So oh I completely God. lost track of how much I'd actually drunk. Um, it was at least no, you three didn't. bottles of wine. No, you didn't lose track. Because I told you how much you had drunk, and you flat out ignored me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. Um, or she yeah, was so, drunk, uh, and she I, chose... To I, not listen. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's what, what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to sit down on a bench and fell backwards off of it. Uh, my, my no, was... no, 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 no. I did. Wasn't, no, it wasn't a bench. <laughs> it was a wall on the side and you fell into a bush. <laughs> oh, yeah! I thought you were going to say it was a woman you were trying to sit on. So, one of my friends, one of my friends, basically sake. tried to pick me out of this bush. Um, he's like six foot five, so he was like, and he looks like a Viking. So he was basically carrying me along. He was like, "I'm going to stick you in our friends' year. Just go sober up for a bit." And basically, as I was trying to get into this year, um, I was wearing New Rocks, which are big goth platform shoes um and my ankle went from being on a platform about that which is probably about what six inches something mm-hmm. like that, um to being on the floor um, she'd unzipped the 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 support part of her boots oh. so her so she had nothing holding my entire her ankle just place. went yeah. Oh my ah, god! Jesus no! Christ! <laughs> no! I would like to point out that obviously we'd all been drinking. I'd driven over to the wedding to start off with, and then she'd convinced me to then drive the car back and get a taxi down so I could drink as well with everyone else. So like so, proper drinking, not like yeah, I'm gonna so have was, one. And so be, I was properly yeah. drinking as well. So we were in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. I literally like a forty minute dr- forty minute drive away from where we live. Oh my God. Right on the Fucking coast God. of Wales, and she completely cacked her ankle when we were playing on. You know, and I had to get the taxi to come earlier to pick her up, and then and yeah, they wouldn't found come out earlier. And then yeah, they wouldn't come earlier. She so had to just wait around while she's absolutely like properly decimated. Like yeah, properly, it, it, took, it yeah. took half an hour to get her to the front gates of the thing. Oh my God. Um, all this time, obviously, she was walking on her ankle because she was like, it hurts, but didn't realize how much because she was so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, oh, just zipped no. my boots back up and just yeah. cracked on. Yeah, and then found out what was it like a few weeks later after it wouldn't stop hurting and wouldn't get out yeah. to the walk. So I, I'm just, I've got a lot of like chronic issues and stuff. So I just deal with pain, I guess, a lot better than some others might. So I've got a really high pain tolerance. And I went about five weeks on this ankle of not getting any medical help. Oh my um, god, what the fuck? <laughs> and I went to go and see, I was seeing a podiatrist at the time to try and uh, help with realigning my back. And he looked at my ankle and he was like, what the fuck have you done to that? noticed your foot was facing the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it was about four the times size. the size that it should have been. Oh my like, God. And part of me, I feel bad about this, part of me isn't laughing that that happened. 
but the mental image of you falling backwards into a bush is so... <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get out my fucking head. It's like, it was that. scratched it's, it's, to shit. It was backwards yeah. into a bush and then face first into a yurt. Um, but yeah, then uh, we found out that she did surgery and uh, the wait time for the NHS at the time, because it was just after COVID, mm-hmm. was two to three years. That's insane, man. That's yep. right. I remember and that. we couldn't exactly have her not walking for two to three years. No, especially because if that happens and it actually starts to heal or um, you're putting It'll pressure on it, yeah, yeah. Worse. it, it fucks it up yeah. beyond recognition. So, so. Uh, we had to go private. £7,000 bill later. Oh, fuck. This was also <laughs> at exactly the same time we got this, we found out we needed to go private, was exactly the same time that I got rear-ended in my old legacy driving down to yours to drop the laptop off oh, he means uh he means laptops crashed into by the way car yeah, yeah, crash yeah. just for, <laughs> for car yeah, so I, I, I hit and you car had to got, choose and between your car and your wife and how did you decide on your car <laughs> <laughs> i did both yeah i had a, oh i had to, i had to get another car because at that point cass couldn't walk yeah oh yeah shit i bet so, there was some deep-seated uh like what the fuck do we do conversations in amongst all that yeah. because yeah um i'm a lot more what's the word i'm whatever it is i think ellis is going to disagree with you <laughs> i'm a lot more restrained when i'm drinking now yes i okay, have gotten a lot, a lot better, better. Yeah. Oh, is it one of those things better. where it was like a really expensive lesson to learn mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah but now where i'm like oh i'm tipsy i can keep at this stage now yeah. It yeah. ended up being about a twelve and a half thousand pound lesson. He, oh, jeez! Oh, ah, that's like a surgery, partial deposit on a house. Car. Yeah, mm. that's more than we spent on our first deposit. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! That's nuts. more than we spent on our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sick. That yeah. genuinely makes yeah. me feel like vomiting, and it's not just the wine that I keep drinking. <laughs> Right. Also, yeah, yeah. Was drink responsibly, guys. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of drinking from responsibly, my mistakes. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, we always we, encourage if you are going to drink, definitely drink. Responsibly. Drinking. Sorry, sorry, we guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, speaking of drinking responsibly. <laughs> yeah, speaking of drinking responsibly, I'm sorry, we've I just got saw red you wine to, to get do. That segue in there, time. Alex. So we've exactly. got struggling to get a word in. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so we still got to try the uh, the Gary the, Barlow's the the, 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 the Gred. The it doesn't the, smell the, the great. Bread. So I, I actually do drink a fair bit of red wine, and this does not smell good. Really? Well, okay. I have been sipping away at the rosé, um, and I've noticed that Ooh. I am the only one who's continuing to sip the rosé. Yeah, um, does... I've finished mine. I've, oh, I've, uh, mm-hmm. Jesus, what, really? I've probably finished both of them, knowing her. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've, right, finished right, I've got this, I've got this much white left and this much rosé left. Okay. So I've hardly touched either of well, them. Well, I've been sipping the rosé <laughs> more. Jesus Christ. It's a half a pint. If you finish, that's yes. how oh, much yes. I no, have. No, it's about there. <laughs> oh my she's God. Drunk about, she's drunk about 500 ml of wine now. Cool. Th- this is this <laughs> this is her restrained i will point out <laughs> oh my we God. should put a psa at the beginning of this episode about being like please drink responsibly yeah like, just yeah. have like a, a drink aware dog unless come up. Yeah. You are, you, unless you is a legend <laughs> unless, <you're, laughs> unless you is slamming butt <laughs> oh no. right okay red wine i saw yeah. jake just try it without waiting for it no everyone. i didn't i smelled it oh was that what it was because it looked like you just took a swig right. well, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm going in I, yeah. I'm not expecting good that things. That smells chewy. Mm. Chewy. It smells... Chewy. Like bog bodies. Oh. It smells... Un- it smells... Un- <laughs> <laughs> that was Alex. Jesus that, Christ. That is that. alcoholic Ribena, and it is nasty. <laughs> no, it's not, because Ribena tastes nice. <laughs> Fuck me. Ooh. Oh, God. Gary, yeah, no, that sucks. Was foul. Um, I don't like any of these, so I'm going to go and throw them at a wall. <laughs> So shall so shall we now that we've tasted uh, all the wines go through the tasting notes and and see what they're supposed to taste like? Sure, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, a really yeah. good got, idea, Jake. We got a very uh, mixed. Um, uh, well, uh, okay. What did you guys taste with the rosé? Fish. Actually, no. What did you guys taste with the red? Because we've just done the red. Oh, so that's probably okay, in well, our that memories. Means we can go back and taste it again. Cause it... No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're just an alky. <laughs> uh, shit cheap grape juice. Okay, with shit vodka cheap. in it. Um, I think if I was in a room with loads of barrels of the red, it, I no, would wait, be it, sick. It, <laughs> it, yeah. it, it's quite... There's a tiny, tiny bit of smokiness to that for me, which almost like... It's like tasting the wood. It's not a strong red... It doesn't have the same strength as a lot of the other punchy reds that I've had before. Mm. It's not really full-bodied, um, but it is quite sweet and fruity. 
I would. Yeah, I thought it was relatively sweet. I couldn't I would... give you a flavor, but it tastes like wood yeah. and fruit, I which get... is pretty much just like mm. most yeah. wine, really. Yeah, I got <laughs> grape and vinegar. Mm, the yeah. only time I would ever want that wine is on fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Nice. <laughs> and a little like pipette thing going. Mm, boop, boop, yeah. Boop. Yeah. I didn't find it too acidic. Like it wasn't really acidic compared to a lot of the other wines that I've had before. But it it wasn't. It didn't go down smooth. It wasn't pleasant. No, it was not. Okay, so What's this it meant is, to be. Uh, so tasting notes for the red uh, from professionals or, mm. or Gary Barlow's PR team. <laughs> this organic and unoaked red blend from Spain's central Castilla region displays the. I, knew, I, knew, I fucking knew Castilla. you were going to correct me. I fuck, actually, it's actually Castilla. No, because it is. That is That's what the way it's called. It's, it's yeah. called Castilla. <laughs> so, such an actually person. Dude, if, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> if I pronounce something incorrect, like if I if I if I called uh, what like Bath Booth, you'd say no, it's fucking Bath, you idiot, <laughs> wouldn't you? No, you'd go. Yeah, it's no bath. different. I'll try that one again. This organic and unoaked red blend from state. Good, well Spain's done. Central Castilla region displays an eco evocative. Oh, evocative! Sorry, I read that as eco vac <laughs> Do you, Jake? And, Could I, I don't read mean, it. I was, yeah, I was going to ask. Do you want evocative someone else perfume to? Perfume yes, of hedgerow yes, berries, wild herbs with dark co 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 <laughs> co cocoa. <laughs> it's medium bodied and perfectly balanced with a core of bright fruit, delicate acidity, and finely textured tannins. It's extremely but, versatile with food and complements a wide, a wide range of tapas, paella, and savory meat or vegetarian dishes. Okay, perfectly balanced. I was going to say, shit. can you, I'm not can you boldly them, make that claim that something is perfectly done? It's, it's like the equivalent of saying the best Thai restaurant. Yeah. You can't claim that, yeah. right? No. Well, if, it, if it's perfect... That means that this is the best wine that has ever been ever made been because produced, you yeah. cannot you cannot beat perfection. Yeah. Or that it is just means if it's perfectly balanced, it was the act of putting those two things in that then balanced that was perfect. Mm. Which means every you know, single batch needs to be like one part vinegar, one part petrol, <laughs> one part grape <laughs> juice, one part vodka. Per you know who else? You, you know who else says things are perfectly balanced. <laughs> Who's that? Thanos, as he's snapping out half the universe. Yeah, true. <laughs> Official Gary Barlow is Thanos. Yeah, yeah. confirmed. That's yeah. the title for this episode. Can you imagine if his name was Gary Thanos? <laughs> Gary Thanos, Gary Thanos, Thanos in the film. <laughs> oh, God. I'll do it myself. Um, <laughs> so can we just confirm very quickly, the red wine is the worst. 100 percent yes. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. So that's on the bottom. So it's okay. between <laughs> the rosé and the white. Yeah. Rosé next. Okay. So yeah. rosé is meant to be pale strawberry in colour. If everyone's take a sip whilst I do this. No. Oh With God. intense and fresh berry aromas, complemented by subtle floral notes. This wine has excellent fruit concentration with a slightly off dry finish, beautifully balanced by crisp acidity and refreshing savoury notes. So not perfectly balanced, so they're actually admitting that one's a bit shit. <laughs> yeah, or shitter from the, uh, from <laughs> the, the red. red. I like how Ellis- Is favourite here? I like, you should do this, uh, this what, like the tasting notes in a really fancy voice like you okay, just sure, did. Okay, sure, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll put some Maybe. like- Maybe- Some like- Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind yeah, yeah. it, yeah, yeah. Okay. That yeah, yeah, should be, that. I think his job if we're doing as well the spirits he's like the fancy alcohol man because obviously he can't drink them so he's guiding the taste all right yeah okay yeah I, you know I, I, yeah. That, yeah i can see that um you know i the... get i get honey and vodka from the uh honey vodka with a hint of vinegar mm. from the from the rosé i get a fishy aftertaste <laughs> I get dirty <laughs> bath water. Mm, I get that. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that I'm enjoying that one too much. Wait, does that mean you've drunk dirty bath water before? I used aware. to be the child that would wring the water out of the flannel with her teeth. Ah, <laughs> yeah, what, when I was someone else that was in the bath. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that as well. As like, someone put else it in the water, it. and then I would just be like, <laughs> and I would just chew the shit out of it. Oh my god! Yeah, I was a flannel uh, baby. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I did that as well. Wine. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, did you? All right. Mm -hmm. Thank Final God. then, the white. If everyone wants to take another sip again. No. This organic and refreshing white Fancier. blend perfectly captures the essence of Spain's two most popular white grape varieties. The lively lemon peel and green apple perfume is woven with more <laughs> complex notes of anise and wild fennel on the palate. It's a triumph with a crisp... It's a triumph with a crisp salad. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, it's dodgy, it's a, dodgy grammar here. It's a triumph. It's a with. triumph. <laughs> Not with, with a. It's a, tri it's a triumph with a crisps. No, what? no it's with, a triumph with, with a crisp salads or shellfish. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a triumph with crisp salads. You don't need the A either. Yeah, it's a triumph with crisp salads or shellfish, <laughs> or pour on, or pour on, pour, pour on a nice cold glass and enjoy it as an aperitif. <gasps> pour the wine on a oh glass. Oh my god, that's actually on the website. On it. Yeah, that is. Li that, that, yeah, that is literally the safe oh. way to answer the website. Oh god, Gary, 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 fix Gary, it Gary. with a crisp salad. Buy your wine, <laughs> man. Thanos. Right. Well, oh my god. god. Buy okay. your oh god, it smells rancid. Okay, look, look. We need to pick between these two, and I think I know which way I'm leaning. But I want you guys to. <sighs> I know which way I'm leaning. Yeah, uh, rose. the rose is by the rose is by far the best. Rose is the best. Rose is the best. Yeah, the rose. Disagree. Just before we say it's the best wine in the world, I would say the rose. If like if we're ready to do the the, the, the tier rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I'm, say I'm, the rose is probably sitting around like a like a. D or a C yeah. and a push. <laughs> yeah, so the yeah. Yeah. Um, I disagree because yeah, I prefer I'd the white. I say an E. I prefer the white. You prefer the white? Prefer you the prefer white. the white. I just yeah. love fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, the rosé tastes like fish. The wine actually just tasted a bit vinegar, even not too vinegar. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I, think... I, I would say, for me, rosé is a D. The white and the red are both F. They're both straight up like yeah, bottom they're both of terrible. the barrel. I would put both of those. I'd put two, uh, rose and red at F and white at E. Okay, so we, should we come up with like an average between all of us? And I then think that's we where should. it ends yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, okay, so let's go from one by run through the other. So the white, uh, I. who Who's in agreement that it should just be at F? F. F. Straight up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was more of like an E. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I, say, I say E. <laughs> right, okay, three, so, ver three versus two, it's an F. No, no, the, it goes to halfway. I think you could do it halfway. I think that would be acceptable. No, that's going to be really complicated when Nick has to make the image. No, but it'd be fine. The no, because if you have to put in other images, then they're going to have to be yeah, stacked it, it, beside it, it, each other. It's going to be okay. majority rules. The majority oh, is right. F, so it's F. Okay, okay, fair enough. Right, next. Um, okay, so next was the rosé. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. I'll probably put this at a D. I was going to put it at a D. E. All right, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll say D. I'll, I'll agree. I'll go D then. Yeah, well, you don't have D. to. You can say what you want. I mean, no, no, it doesn't I think matter D, what cause... I say then, does it? <laughs> it, well, was, no, it, does, it was bearable. Cause... Okay, well, what do you think, Alex? F. The F. F, right. It tastes okay. like fish <laughs> Well, hang on, because now we've got an average, so we could... If one's at a... One's at... Was it D, E, and F? Oh, mm -hmm. we had three Ds, didn't three we? Three Ds, yeah, it's D. Okay, it's D. D. And then... Uh, well, if it's three Ds... F tier for the red wine. What F tier for the red. I would agree, F tier for the red. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> we have a score, guys. There we go. And I think, um, I think as a um, as a bonus thing, we should Bone check up. out the website and then see what we think of the website and, and rate each person's website by. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Because yeah? some of, Gary Barlow's is something else. Right, I'm telling you. I am ready for this. Okay, okay I've yeah. opened it up. Oh, just, yeah. wow. Just look at look that how, picture. Just look how... Oh, it's just so... I find like, this stuff really like cringe. cringe. I just can't quite deal with these... With these it's shots. the hand on the thigh from... <laughs> wait, wait, no, no. no. Yeah. Scroll down. Scroll down until you get to the, 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 the one hiding behind with the piano. Oh, That's, yeah. That is oh, the cringiest no. thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Hey. Who's that big boy? This is my <laughs> Gary Barlow. So for those of you listening on audio, uh, there's a very happy looking Gary Barlow with what can only be described as an F tier wine sitting on um on a piano behind him. And the opening page is a uh it's him looking like he's trying to like chat you up. Uh, you've just gone on a date with him and he said, Hey, come back to mine and then he's trying to chat you up with some mm. with some wine. That's what his he's own wine. Like, yeah, his yeah. own wine. Can I just say though? <laughs> he's Gary. Chatting up with his own wine. <laughs> Gary, that's very uh Wow. He's, a bit well, what, of you. Is, he's, yeah. he's he's not an unattractive man. Like, I was no, going to say, he's, not he's aged means. gracefully. He has, he he has, has. aged well. He's like aged he, like a fine wine, you might I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. he probably did back in the day. Like, yeah, he's doing yeah. all right. I mean, it was the 80s. Also, look at those grapes. Who has that many grapes <laughs> so, in a bowl? Go to the about section. 
Yeah, okay. there are some classic oh, photos. As in there. my story or no, no yeah. just yeah, oh, just, just so the, the organic story. Oh, wow. Scroll down. There's a picture of him writing in a notebook and holding <laughs> up his wine glass. Also, F- writing down F tier as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is a this is a vinegary pissy mess. <laughs> so I've uh, I've popped What's... into I popped into the shop to see what else they have. Oh, God. oh yeah. All right. <laughs> so there's a Gary Barlow ice bucket. <laughs> I oh, mentioned God. that when Hang I was on. buying the wine. Oh, God, do you have? Can you guess how much it costs? Bear in mind, Wait, it's just the ice bucket. I ice know bucket. how much it costs. So I'm quid. not gonna. Is it forty pounds? Where is the ice bucket? I can't find it. It is forty-five quid. Oh my God! For an oh ice my bucket. God, are you serious? And yeah. it gets even better if you scroll right down the bottom to the Gary Barlow Perfect Duet Piano Box. Oh yeah, yeah. It is two bottles of F tier wine, the, <laughs> the white and the red, in a fancy box. Ninety-nine oh pounds. God. Wow! That's insane. Oh, so you're paying. You're paying. That box uh, must be expensive. You're paying eighty-five pounds for, for a, a box. box. Yeah. <laughs> for piss wine, essentially. Also, yeah. I've just gone through the contact us section, <laughs> and I'm just tempted to just put in <laughs> put in a name and just like, go, like Can you fix your pissy shit? <laughs> <laughs> so this is one. This is one awards. The How? What the awards? Spin- the drinks business and the spirits business it won the spring tasting in 2022 and it got a silver medal for it oh uh, i'm that sorry is, that's rigged that is unbelievable isn't it that's uh, absolutely <laughs> rigged surprised i'm not going to oh, found the ice bucket presenting the Fuck perfect, perfect 45 trio. quid oh these wines are the perfect trio apparently what to mm. <laughs> what to each other because if it's subjective if it's only to that specific wine yeah. of course yeah. it would yeah, be the- if also, this was would you guys like to subscribe to the newsletter so we can keep I up I think to we date? should I think we I should wouldn't. put the the worst pyramid ever gmail I think we should not <laughs> No let's not do that um, um can I, okay he's, he's I probably think already it does... got it because he's a massive fan of the channel so you know no, no, oh, I mean, of course obviously. of course um I do want to give it a plus 1 though for the fact that just the design of the bottle. I like the bottle. The oh, yeah, yeah, okay. nice. yeah. it the It is yeah. quite nice. And you know yeah. what? Like, I, I can. Classy. It's a graphic designer. <laughs> what? <laughs> <I> <laughs> can You're a graphic that. designer? Are you really? serious? Yeah, guys, I used to be a graphic designer. I have no idea. <laughs> From California? Oh California! Oh. California! Uh, they are nice, nice looking bottles. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nick did point out because he came around to ours last weekend. He got he got a glimpse at the bottles. The metal bit at the top of the bottle um, has basically it's just got a sticker of a piano o- on it. They haven't like embossed it on mm. in there, yeah. which right. makes me think it's just generic fucking wine from this oh. one part in Spain. Oh, yeah. from honestly, Spain. honestly, I think it probably is. And mm. they have just basically put a. It's a re- uh, it'll, I, I would not be surprised. It's a rebrand. Yeah, but it'll Ellis, be it'll be something else. Ellis in the about oh, section, you can so see sad. he's tasting it and <laughs> making sure that it's perfect. Look at the pictures sure. in his denim jacket. Is that a denim jacket? Oh it my looks god! A bit so like denim. This is great. It's presumably, he's made a wine brand off of this statement. My passion for wine has been developing over the years. Is that, that it? like just that is statement? That like my that's just the starting bit. So that statement alone suggests that like I have a developed palate and I can. Basically, I basically want to deliver you guys a really good wine, right? Yeah. yeah. So how the fuck did it end up as F tier then? Because <laughs> well, he really doesn't opinion. know that much Ooh. about it. Maybe. Well, it's, or... Honestly, it's probably just got his name stuck on it. Sorry, guys. Very important things just come up. I looked oh, at yes. the back of the uh, wine bottle. It's got a QR code. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it says scan this for uh, Gary Barlow content. And I'm what? Kind of, I don't know what fix. that means. Big <laughs> Is it a link to his OnlyFans? Can you put the uh, that that link from your phone into the Discord chat so we can see it? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay, hold on. So on Amazon, Gar- oh, his I- red wine, which we gave an F, <laughs> has got um, a four point one out of five. What the fuck do people not have palates? What I the don't shit? think people know any better. I just, like, I mean, it's like Good I said, Lord. I didn't think it was horrific, but I didn't think yeah. it was, Right, like... Jay Shepard, who gave it a one star, is completely correct. <laughs> Cheap plonk at an inflated price, brought us, bought us a novelty give and tasted just as bad as expected. Far better <laughs> wine can be bought for half the price. Yep. Truth. This is only fit for cooking. If you, or if you're buying as a joke for someone you dislike, then maybe it's worth it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> only wow. fit for cooking. Imagine that. This is cooking wine. Um, oh jesus this this is such a troll 
because it's kind of like what Alex did with his streams when you link to the other streamers because you go into the <laughs> bottle of wine you follow the link and it just takes you back to the Gary Barlow website where you probably bought the wine from in the first place uh, oh yeah, and you can never leave <laughs> that's so good <laughs> the white's got uh, the, our other lowest rated one has got uh, four out of five really yeah oh so the rosé is the actual you got 65 percent of people give f uh, uh, five stars and the rest of there's still there's a fairly decent amount of there's a core of the people giving it up uh, only three yeah it is a bit it's a bit crazy like i don't know the rosé I, I could fuck with it if i needed to but i wouldn't if i was at a shop you'd I never buy it I, yeah. I would buy it for the bottle and then be like that was fun and i probably wouldn't do it again no. Or you, yeah, you know. like like I said, you probably buy it for your dad if you hated Garrett Barlow or if something. If you hated your dad, <laughs> or your dad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want to divorce your family, that's the yeah, exactly. The I got, way to do I got it. everyone. Everyone gets one case of Gary Barlow's wine. <laughs> well, oh look, we tried it, and that's the important thing. Yeah, and God. Yeah, overall, I mean. So how are we going to? Oh, I can't the drive now. <laughs> website rating I think should be separate because I can imagine I, Nick I putting agree. together mm. the tier list for all the alcohols and then you could refer back to it at the end of each episode so yes. for this I kind of I don't know the website I don't mind the website I like the smiley pictures it's nice design but the photos are fucking oh, the very photos are so cringe it's yeah too <laughs> it's too cocky yeah that, it yeah, insists Alex is upon on itself the head he's really mm. really self-assured yeah I yeah. mean yeah. when you work that awful. amount of money you probably can't afford to be mm that much of a cock yeah but <laughs> but like surely surely if you have that much money you would make a wine like ah oh, it's just so annoying because i know that like maynard keenan out of tool has his own like vineyard and he takes it super super seriously mm. and any wine that he would want to sell would like obviously have his name on it like not it wouldn't have his name on the bottle but like it'd have it, his name would be attached to the vineyard that it comes from mm. so he'd actually want to produce like decent wine because he fucking yeah. loves it yeah People like Gary Barlow, for example, just putting their stickers and names on something uh, that's c clearly uh, come out of Spain and is like uh, uh, a wine that was just knocking around that they had. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then it's, they it's put a the cheap wine on. for the masses. I mean, they're, 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 yeah. bear, when you think they're, they're putting it in Morrison's, Asda and all that sort of thing, and they've got enough to stock all of them across the country and have them in Amazon. Yeah. It's not going to be a artisan wine and it's not going to have actually realistically anything to do with him. Yes. Yeah. Because to make it on that scale, it's industrial winemaking. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Wait, so you're telling me that Gary Barlow does not personally stomp the grapes with his feet? <laughs> I, don't believe it. I believe what he's done is gone. Maybe that's the essence of fish that name? Alex is getting. Do you want to use my name <laughs> yeah. for, this month, for, for this wine and pay me some money for it? And um, someone's gone, yes, sure. I think that's about Actually, it. I think and I've got some photos. <laughs> and jobs no are good. No feet. Oh my god. I got invested in the feet, Alice. <laughs> she wants Gary uh, Barlow foot picks. Do you really? Th <laughs> do, the thing about this, wait. Do you really think Gary would drink any of these? I'm sorry, uh, Ellis. Probably not. Can we just go back, Ellis? Gary Barlow. You don't know him personally. Sorry, Mr. You know Barlow. I mean. It's Mr. Barlow to you. <laughs> that's Mr. Barlow. You're way, sincerely you not drink any of these. No. Well, look, true. I've finished my rosé <laughs> now, so I mean. And yeah. uh, just like to point out, you're quite right, Alice, because none of the photos on his website actually show him drinking no, it. No, they no, all it's all just him, looking at it. They all show him sniffing it, going, yeah. oh dear. It exists. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess the question is, what's the next one we'll try in about a month's time? Is there a celebrity wine list? I bet there oh, is. Oh, there is, yeah. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Oh, oh, my oh okay. I would uh, assume he'd be quite good. his would be quite good. Yeah, I think it would as well. because it's he, he, food and... Yeah. drink is his thing mm. um but it says here that he partnered with renowned winemaker alberto and tonini um and benchmarked drinks to create this collection of italian wines oh. so mm. i mean if he's paired with someone it's yeah, better be fucking good game as well i've okay got, i've got one go on jeremy clarkson does beer and cider oh, i'll be up for trying that you can get you can get vodka as what well. jeremy clarkson vodka Okay, notable names are uh, Snoop Dogg. It's got a uh, Cali uh, Californian red. We have so, to try. So, funny um, story about that. I've seen that being sold in our local spa. <laughs> yeah. Actually, <laughs> on so special offer. Um, other notable names are Post Malone. Mm. Uh, who else have we got here? His, Kylie his Minogue. His face is full of ink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bon Jovi. Mm. Oh, sorry. John Bon Jovi. Yeah, John Bon Jovi. Is, yeah, is, is, is there a John, John bon Jovi, yeah. You didn't know his bon name was John Bon Jovi. No. <laughs> I thought it was called Bon Jovi. It's like, who is this rip-off guy? John Bon Jovi. Uh, 
James Cameron, that would probably might be decent. I don't know. Yeah, mm. like Gabby said, Idris Elba, Graham Norton. Jay Z's got a uh, champagne. Of course he does. Four hundred and eighty quid. Four hundred. What? what? Four hundred and eighty. Sorry, that's for Fuck the rose me. rose version. Um, for the regular is 300 quid. Why don't we just get Nick to pick us one? That's true. Uh, right. yeah, just tell us what we're doing, Nick. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, Aviation Gin. Are we going to go through the wine first? Yeah, wine I, first. I think do all the wines first, because then we can have a, we can move on to spirits later on. Okay, well, at least we've got... It's a good start, then. At least we've got, like, three yep. wines on the on the S, on the the tier list, I suppose. Yep. I think mm. we should do it, like, at the end of the month. Okay. We have it that the last episode for that month... Is, okay, the yeah, yeah, is the tasting? Gotcha, okay. Yeah, because I think we want to do it reasonably well, but we also don't want to seem like alcoholics just trying all these different wines and, <laughs> and just get spirits <laughs> and separate, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I think it, yeah, we need to do it. To it also uh, could get could start getting expensive as well. That yes. is true. Yeah, also, yeah, Cap, yeah. no one's getting shit faced because we're uh, all drinking like sips. Yeah, no one's getting shit faced <laughs> apart from you, who's chugging all the wine. I I've got, still got shit faced. How much wine do you have left, Kath? It's just like when you empty out your canteens at the end of a run in the military. Yeah, mine's yeah. just the red. I've got the red one. No, no, no. How over. much have you got left in the bottle? <laughs> I've drunk the same amount as Gabby. Okay. No, you haven't. No, Sorry, I that's me. I love me you, Ken, but you have me. Because yeah. I've, I've still got the white wine I'm going oh, through. Okay. I finished yeah. the rosé, but the... the... Yeah, that's two people that's done that. <laughs> I know, and they haven't even finished all the glasses. <laughs> nah. Oh, my God. Oh, I then. took about that much from each, each yeah, bottle. I took, I took like a couple yeah. of sips from each glass. That was Do you it. know where the rest of this is going? The toilet? Sink. Straight down. Oh, actually, yeah. You could use it as toilet cleaner. I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna give mine to my sister. Oh, oh yeah. Drink it? She a... No, she hates Gary Barlow with a passion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Does she just like... might want to like, piss in the Perfect. bottle or something. Then. Does we'll she like wine, back. though? No. Don't know. Okay. Might do. That'd be a great present. Here you go. It's a bottle of wine I tried, but I didn't like. You've got about a week to drink it before it goes off. I could keep it, to, keep it till Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you imagine? Oh um, as well, though, shout out to everyone for dressing up. I am impressed. Mm -hmm. You guys we pulled through. Job. I thought there would be a lot more resistance, but no, you're all looking lovely. Oh, look, yeah, at, exactly. look at Alex. He scrubs up well, doesn't so he? So what are you wearing on your bottom half, Alex? Let's just see. Oh, he's standing back from the mic. He's got uh, Adidas tracksuit pants Ooh, on. He's jumping. And he's got oh, a, a very, a very well, down on Adidas. Oh, that was athletic the way yeah, he jumped on that bed then. You could tell he's been going to the gym. I was just about to say the same <gasps> thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's now exasperated. Are you going to show everyone yours properly, Jake, or are you just going to come in? Uh, yeah, jump, on bed, jump on your bed, jump on your bed, jump on your bed. Okay, I'll do the same thing Alex did. Ready? Gabby, prepare for someone to just fall through the oh, floor. The, it's going to break. Oh, God. Oh, look at him like a fucking monkey. Like What's his arse hanging out, then? He does look like a fucking monkey. He's hanging out. His arse. You look like a there proper hobbit. Oh, Jake, you need to pull your shorts up, mate. You oh, really? need to pull them up, Jake. We've had these conversations, really? darling. Why, what, what do you mean? It, do was, it was just whole all the way. Your pants <laughs> are my ass. falling out. <laughs> I have to censor oh. that one on the, uh, on the podcast. Put a little black bar. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> to be fair, I do pull them up when I'm about to do go to the gym. Just oh, not at any other just time. Not any <laughs> <laughs> do you not well, have, always fall down. Do you not, not tie, do you not have anything to tighten them with? Like a um, yeah, like a, a, a tie thing on the front. I don't know what it's called. Uh, no, nah, I pulled it out because it got annoying. Oh fuck me! Oh, I'll pull them up next time. I've already stood up, and I can't. I can't yeah. really show anything. Oh, other okay, than, like enough. my crotch area, because let's I'm see the crotch got, like, area. <laughs> <laughs> Is it about that time, guys? Should we do? Should we do? Should we do meme of the week? Yeah, should we do the meme comment and then let's have a look on the Reddit and see if that there's if there's anything. Oh, this one's quite funny. Uh, okay, so Kath, <laughs> I am Brazilian, and the way you say uh, "pau" brackets bread in "pau de queijo" sounds like "dick of cheese." <laughs> 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 that was in um that was a reference to one of this oh my videos. God. <laughs> That's <laughs> excellent. Part two. <laughs> Love that. Oh yeah, there was this one. I don't know <laughs> don't know how appropriate this one is. It was a wild one though. But it says two Corinthians nine seven. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. This Bible verse on giving confirms that we shouldn't feel compelled to give or guilty if we don't. That was on Vulcanoids. 
What uh, the fuck? What? So that <laughs> what was, I don't know what that was in relation to. Um, and then inside the back rooms, there was a comment from the same person saying, I hope you guys may one day find God. Not an insult, no. just letting you know God loved the sinners. That's why he died for them. So <laughs> they must have been like, oh, Jesus. The sinning from here is like top tier level sinning. Yeah. Oh, so hell. good. Uh, um, this is this is a good one, one of the farming sim uh, live streams. Um, it's painful to watch Jake try and do anything on here, but Alex is a colossal prick. I'd go, I'd go put that truck in the water, and if that didn't stop it, I'd delete the truck. And if that didn't work, I would kick him out of the game. There's a certain Ooh. amount of screwing around that is fun and funny, but he doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Yeah. Jeez, that's come fair. on, man. Bloody yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Um, I've got a two for one here. Okay, go okay. on then. Uh, both about Gabby, one positive, one negative, both in the same sort of comment stream. Okay. Very close right. to each other. So I'm going to be completely honest. Since Gabby joined WP, I found myself laughing at these videos about 10 times more. Kind of saved the channel for me, not going to lie. Nice, okay. And then good. underneath, we've got, don't know how to say this nicely, but my opinion is that Gabby is like the third wheel and should only be behind the scenes. Find her quite annoying, and I feel like she tries too hard. What? <laughs> the duality <laughs> of the comment section. The duality there. The duality of man. Mm -hmm. I like that reading out of it, because you, you're reading it like a uh, like a teacher is reading their child's school report out. Yeah. <laughs> Alex just doesn't try hard enough, unfortunately. Yeah. Gabby tries too hard. Yeah. She's third wheeling. <laughs> also, there's like five of us here. Yeah. Yeah, well. Um, um, I did, so I did find this other one as well that I want to quickly read out. Um, and I also giggled at my own comment I made about it when I wrote it down. <laughs> so the, I wrote, when I posted this, my night, ruined. My disgust, unyielding. And the comment says, not going to lie, Gabby singing the Santa baby song made my junk wiggle just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. No, thanks. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching and and all listening to this podcast. Should we do a cheers? Yeah, let's do a cheers. And that means we must drink again, though. Yeah, no, go on, I'm not, I'm I'm not, no, I don't. I don't want to drink any more of it. Alex, I'm not drinking anymore. I'm just going to do oh, that gosh, and then pretend. Finish, yeah, I'm going to sure. pour mine into one glass and then taste what it tastes like. The, what the the ultimate all, hybrid of Gary Barlow? All the wines. It all just, the it, oh, you, you, you do it now. The wines. He does it, starts smoking, and when a tiny little Gary combine. Barlow appears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he just God. like <laughs> mixed them. The name's Gary. <laughs> name's Gary. Do you like Is these shit wines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's just, that's just, that's just right, ten let's, times let's, worse. Let's, let's <laughs> then. Okay. Um, Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, all. Thank you for they joining us for this lovely wine tasting from Gary Barlow. Mm. We really appreciate it, and yeah, we'll see you guys again next week. That yep. is awful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the episode, or <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys Thanks. later. Thanks I got it in my mustache. Bye. 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 Bye.